How do you add rows of videos to your YouTube channel? You know, those different sections of videos on your YouTube channel homepage. I'm going to add some to my channel right now and show you the entire process, step by step, from beginning to end. Hello, I'm Neil and I'm a development producer helping high achieving creators and performers just like you to get ideas out of your head and out onto here on YouTube to make the world happier. I'm figuring all of this out for myself at the same time. I've launched a few new YouTube channels, like here's one, and I just want to make them look a bit well, less barren. <laughs> I want them to make them look better. So I'm gonna do that in real time with you and you can follow along with me and hopefully we'll get this done in no time. The first place we're going to go, obviously, is YouTube Studio. If you click on the three lines in the top left-hand corner, that expands this menu. We're going to go down to Customization. And this opens up our channel customization page. There are three tabs at the top, Layout, Branding, and Basic Info. Now I've covered those other tabs in other videos. The links to those are in the description below. But this first page, the layout page, is exactly what we need to create these shelves, these little bookshelves of videos for our YouTube channel page. Now at the top here, it gives you the option to add a video to the top of your channel homepage. And there are two versions, two different flavors. You can add a video that acts as a channel trailer for people who haven't subscribed to your YouTube channel yet. And you can add a different video for people who have subscribed. I'll just show you how this works. If you click add, now embarrassingly, I've only got, what, nine videos here, but if you had more, you can search for them in this search box here. And if we want to save these choices, I can just hit publish. So if I refresh my channel homepage here, I'm already subscribed, so I get the train video. But we want to add those rows of videos to the channel page. And you do that just below here in this section called Featured Sections. Now I already have one row of videos and that's called Uploads. That's basically my entire list of videos with the most recent on the left hand side. But if you click on this button here, Add Section, it gives you lots of other options to add different rows to your homepage. Let's go through each one just to see what they look like. So the first one is Popular Uploads. And and here it seems to have ordered my uploads in order of popularity. If I hit add section again, the next option is short videos. Well, I haven't got any of those. So I want to remove this row from my rows. And it's really easy to do that. On the right hand side of the bar, it gives you options and we can click on remove section. But the one I think you and I both want the most are the playlists. You have three options here. There's a single playlist and this is where I can choose any of my single playlists playlists to be the entire row for that section on my homepage. So let's choose London Buses and I can add section again to add another playlist. So I'll select single playlist again and then I can choose Trains and Railways and you see that it adds it as the next row down. If I wanted to have a row which included all of my playlists in one row then I'd select Created Playlists. I have five playlists on this channel and you can see they're all arranged in the row. Now let's say I want to make that row at the top of my channel homepage. It's really simple. If you go to the two bars on the left hand side, they're kind of like grabber bars. <laughs> and I'll click on those bars and I'll drag the entire row up and I'll drag it all the way to the top and let go there. So now if I hit publish, this is how my YouTube channel looks now. You can see that created playlists is at the top, as the very top row underneath that featured video. So I have the featured video, the created playlists, and then the other rows that I arranged in my list. Now that row at the top is all of my playlists. So if I wanted to select a number of different playlists and choose which playlists are in that row, let's click on add section and we'll select multiple playlists. So if I wanted this row to just include playlists about trains, well, I can search trains here and it would bring up those playlists or I can just select them from the list. Let's call it imaginatively trains <laughs> exclamation mark and I could move that playlist up to the top as well. 
There are two more sections that I can show you. If we click on add section and scroll down to the list, this section is called subscriptions. This is a row where I could show the latest channels that I have subscribed to. And the final type of section that we can choose is featured channels. Now I've made a video all about this. It's on screen now and in the description. This is where you can link to any other channel and the channels that you select in this section also show up in your channels tab. So if you want to public associate your channel with maybe one of your other channels or other channels that you enjoy that's the place to do this so I'll just call this my other channel and there I am I'll hit tick and there I am <laughs> my happy face. When you have the sections looking how you'd like them to, you can go up to here and hit publish. Be aware, it takes a couple of minutes for the changes to, to come through to your channel homepage. But this is how my channel is looking now. Look at it, it's lovely. And that's nice. If there's only one video in the playlist, it's giving it the full row to that video. So that's great. So what do you think? Leave a comment below. It'd be lovely to hear from you. And if you're feeling even kinder, why not give me a thumbs up just to let me know somebody reached this point of the video and right here is what YouTube thinks you should be watching next.